Professor Diaz here, and in this video I want to uh, explain the changes in the production possibilities frontier. So we're going back to a straight um, production possibilities frontier, um, and I've drawn an apple and an orange, the two goods that we are going to be producing in this country. Um, and it's possible for the production possibilities frontier to shift or change, okay? So some ways that it can shift or change is let's say we become more efficient at producing oranges, okay? So if we become more efficient at producing oranges, then the production possibilities frontier is going to shift out, okay? This is because now our ability to produce oranges has increased, but our ability to produce apples has stayed the same, okay? So this would be a situation of us producing um, uh, having the ability to produce more oranges. What could cause this? We could have uh, an immigration of orange growers. We could have a uh, new technology that, that helps in the production of orange growth. Um, we could discover a new type of seed where oranges grow more easily. Um, things of that nature, right? Um, conversely, we could become more efficient at growing apples, right? And that would shift the production possibilities frontier like this. Um, now we can produce more apples, but not more um, oranges, okay? Um, another way this could shift, uh, we could shift it in, and the whole curve could shift in, okay? So maybe it shifts like this. What could cause the whole curve to shift in, right, at every point? Well, now we become less efficient at producing apples and less efficient at producing oranges. Um, this could happen through um, the loss of people, through, um, uh, you know, things things going poorly. A war could, could make it so that the whole country becomes less efficient, a lack of infrastructure, um, uh, people leaving the country. Um, typically, we don't see production possibilities frontiers going in, but they certainly could go out. Uh, this is much more common. We become more efficient at kind of producing everything, right? The whole curve shifts out. This is from maybe increase in technology, increase in people. Um, you know, uh, the advent of the internet made it so much easier to communicate and to get things done. Or you could say that it's uh, more of a time waster because of things like, you know, YouTube, right? Um, wasting time and Facebook or whatnot. But generally, I'd say the, the internet has made things more efficient and we can produce more of all kinds of goods, right? And so the production possibilities frontier um, can shift in all kinds of ways um, based on whether things are getting more or less efficient, right? We could we could also, you know, shift in like this. Uh, we could shift in like this. Um, just think about what is happening effectively with, with each of the shifts, okay? So this is the changes in production possibilities frontier. In the next video, I want to talk about absolute advantage and comparative advantage in economics.